Crawling is acceptable. Falling is acceptable. Puking is acceptable. Crying is acceptable. Blood, pain is acceptable. Quitting is not. This is my road back to the stage. This is my road to redemption. All right, what's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle, back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. All right, guys, man, so just a real quick video um, about, you know, just staying on your purpose, man. This is, you know, keep going part two. Satan trying to get me off my square as the old, even older than me, you know, the old, the old OGs used to say, trying to get me off my square. Okay, so I told you guys uh, a couple weeks back that, um, you know, I, I lost uh, a couple of my buildings for my uh, cleaning business, and now they've eliminated, you know, the rest of them. Um, so now the old me would have, you know, thrown a pity party, and, I, and I'm not saying that I'm not upset, um, because it, it, it feels good to have control of your own time and things like that, but... It is what it is, man, it's business, you know? Um, so according to them, you know, I uh, got an email uh, this morning that said that, you know, because of rising cost and, you know, continued complaints um, of the cleaning, uh, we decided to, you know, move a different direction. So I'm just like, well, what complaints are you talking about? See, this is, see, this is, this is, this is the part of me that's upset because it's like, guys, these people know how to get a hold of me. I have a contract with you. I, you have my phone number, you have my email, you know, you can contact me, okay? Um, one of the managers at one of the locations had, had sent me an email the other day because um, I had to change days or something like that. And she's like, well, you know, for the last like three or four months, like people have been complaining and you've been changing days. Like, so when exactly are you here? Blah, 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 like we don't know. And I'm like, okay, I've been there over a year now. Like I, I come twice a week. So what are these complaints that you're talking about? Like, because nobody's letting me know anything. Okay. And it's like, this is the thing with this company. Like they, they, they don't have great communication skills. Like I, e like I email the guys, my invoices, I, I text them. I, you know, say, Hey, how's everything going? You know, the guy says, hey, I haven't heard anything, no problems, just that third. But now all of a sudden there's all these problems. Like, so that just makes me think like, well, what the hell is going on, man? Like, because if there's a problem, you need to tell me so that I can get it corrected. Like, I'm a business, you know, I'm, I'm a small business, like, and I want to have a good rapport with my clients. And if there's a problem, like, you need to communicate that to me. Like, don't let things fester for three or four months. <laughs> okay and then say that there's all these problems okay well this is the first that i'm hearing about this okay and i tell them you know like hey well if there's a problem like let me know so that i can get it corrected you know um this is the first this is the first that i'm hearing of any problems so i have two buildings that um are independent from this other this other company that i work for um the lady that I originally started with. And then I have another guy who has his own independent gym, you know, along uh, outside of them as well. But what it is, is that this company has like their, their own like personal training, like business or whatever inside of the gym business. Like, so they're like going to all these different locations, whether they're independent or not. And they're asking them like, hey, like, let us let us do the personal training here and this, that and the third. So that's kind of what's going on, too. So as I told you in the other one, like they're starting this internship slash personal training thing. So they're trying to have the interns like clean and this, that and the third. But now I was at the one location yesterday getting my cardio in and doing my check ins and everything. And the place is filthy. It's fucking filthy. I mean, now I don't really cut. It's fucking filthy. The runners are terrible. There's hairballs everywhere. Like, so, so what was I not doing that they're doing? Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm bitching, but I'm, 
I'm venting as well. Like I'm venting because it's just like, you know, I want to do a good job. Like I will throw up before and after so you guys can see now. Now, don't get political in the comments, but I'm going to get political here for a second. It's like it's just like when a new president takes over and you always hear them say, OK, well, I took over from this guy who didn't do shit. And then the new president after that says, well, I took over from this guy who didn't do shit. And this down the third. Like, right. So that's how I did these locations. It's like, guys, look at these before and afters. This is what this is what I do. OK, I have a I have a cleaning background. That's what I do. OK. And when you guys hired me, it was like you saw my work. So and it's not like that anymore. Like the, the shit is not crusty like this anymore. So I don't need to extensively clean the gym every time I'm there. Like I can I can do a walkthrough and see exactly what needs to be hit. Now, I have what I call my big three, the floors, the garbage and the bathrooms are the big three that I do every single time that I'm there because that that's always a must, okay? Bathroom slash shower rooms, garbage, and the floors. We I live in, you know, Northeast Ohio, the Cleveland area, so we get snow. They throw salt down. There's salt all over the fucking place. Like, dude, I have to vacuum, you know, the floors, okay? I have to mop the floors with all the salt on it what is it that I'm not doing? Like, you know, now during the day, you guys got to change the paper towels and the toilet paper and all of that stuff. If somebody takes a big dump and back blasts all over the toilet, that's not my problem. Like y'all got to handle that throughout the day. Don't let it fester till the next time I'm there, two, three, four days later, and there's still shit on the back of the toilet. That's not, that's not on me. Like guys, they got to do some stuff throughout the day too. So I think that's kind of where they're going with it. Like, okay, we're just going to do it, you know, da, 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 da. But that's exactly why you hired me in the first place. Now I keep, I kept asking them, do you want me to do it more days throughout the week and this, that, and the third? And they, they wanted me an extra day at one location. And then when they got the bill, they were like, okay, yeah, no, I'll just go back to two. Okay. Well, see, that's the thing. Like guys, things cost. Okay. I'm not doing the shit for free. I'm a business you're a business now you take my membership every <laughs> every month right like now if i'm sitting here and complaining and saying this that and the third is wrong with the gym and i'm not coming here anymore and you guys you know are not listening to me i have a right to leave like but the I, I'm telling you my gripes. I'm telling you, hey, man, y'all, the, the equipment's always broke. Uh, you know, the lights are never on or never working. It's dirty as fuck. Like, come on, man. Like, I have a right to leave, you know, after my contract is up and, and, and dip. You know, now they have a right to do that too. But guys, let me know what the problems are so that I can get them corrected first and then say, okay, hey, we're, we're going to move on from this. But this is how Satan's trying to get me off my square, man, like I said. And so, yes, I am highly upset, but I'm, I pivot. Like, I'm, I'm here I am, and I'm pivoting. So I called a former boss where this is why you don't burn bridges. Yeah, you might not have liked the work environment or whatever, but this is why you don't burn bridges. Just like LeBron leaving, going to Miami, and then coming back <laughs> and winning the championship. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not that I hated the job. It was just my life was moving in a whole different direction. So I was able to, you know, start my own thing. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to continue trying to do my own thing, get some more business and clientele and things. But guys, this is why you have to have several streams of income. This is why you have to have a have an emergency fund. Like guys, I, my emergency fund is awesome. So where I, I'm, I'm, I don't really have to move like, oh shit, like now I don't have any income, da, 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 da. Like guys, my emergency fund is, is, is great. Um, you know, I just finally got my vehicle back from having it in the shop. You know, the body shop had to fix the door and all of that stuff. Um, it was a big old, you know, $7,000 just for that. But of course that was covered by my insurance. The guy, the other guy didn't have insurance. Like, yeah, it was a big, it was a big thing. And so all these rising costs, like, you know, my mom just had her knee replacement surgery. I'm helping her man with that. Like it's, it's a life is a, challenge it's a hassle okay and this is what i'm trying to reiterate to the people in the pro physique transformation challenge right now like guys shit is going to happen during this challenge and you have to pivot 
the same way. Like, you can't just quit and give up. Like, guys, we already know what giving up feels like. Let's see what happens when we don't, okay? So this is just another opportunity for me to get something else. So I, I, I contacted the boss uh, from, from, my former, from my former employment, and then I contacted the papers again. I don't want to toss papers again, but the lady was like, hey, yeah, we got like two store routes that you can do if you, if you really want them, you know, which is just me just dropping off the papers at the store, and that's it. Like, it's not like going house to house and driving up all this gas and things like that. So... You know, it's upsetting, but it's also an opportunity. When one door closes, another one is going to open, okay? So, guys, look at the glass half full type of thing, man. Don't let Satan get you off your square, man. Don't let Satan, you know, discourage you. The door is going to be shut in your face many, many times. You're going to be rejected many, many times. Guys, keep moving forward, man. Don't let life win, okay? I'm not going to let life win. So that's all I got for you guys, man. I didn't really want to make it too long. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go hit the gym, man. It's leg day. I'm about to go get a big, powerful leg day, man. I'm about to use this, this, this fire as fuel, okay, to get through this big, powerful leg day, man. So <laughs> I might bring you along. I might not. But anyway, man, so that's all I got for you, man. I love you. There's nothing you can do about that. Stay on your grind. Stay on your purpose. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.